Hey guys, I this is my second video of for news for soccer fans for my YouTube account. Once again, I'm Brian Weber and I am here to tell you what equipment you need to practice or actually play a game. Okay. You, of course, when you practice, either on a team, high school team, rec, travel, um, club, you always need a soccer ball, shown right here, um, shin guards, which are, here's one of my shin guards. Here, here is shin guards. Um, there's a bunch of different types of shin guards. There's shin guards built in with socks. There's shin guards here, just. There's shin guards just. The guard with just the plastic. Hear that? It's plastic. Um, they come in all sizes. Um, I only use two different types of my, uh, oh gosh, decade and a half of playing soccer, probably maybe just a decade, decade. Um, which are these that are shown, and just the guard. Um, you need cleats, which are right here. There's a bunch of different styles of cleats. There's soccer cleats, football cleats, there's probably any sport that plays on a field have cleats. Um, there's always different manufacturers of cleats. Uh, mine are Adius that I'm using. Um, if I pronounce that wrong or anything, just correct me. Make your own video, post it to my video that I said something wrong, make it a video comment. Um, yeah. Uh, there, you always need water, or, like, something that does not have a lot of sugar. Sugar is good if you have a late game, but maybe like a half hour to an hour before the game. Get water. Um, there's so much different types of water, like here, whatever. There's Aquaton or whatever it's called. There's gallons of water. But remember, gallon, uh, water itself is good for you, but you don't want too much from it. Um, I drink lots of water um, during the soccer season. I maybe not during the soccer season. Maybe when I start training for soccer for the upcoming season, I start drinking water. But any other time, I'm drinking iced tea, uh, coffee. Coffee ha gives you a lot of energy, but maybe like 15 minutes after you drink coffee, you want to lay down. So don't drink coffee uh, right before a late game. Maybe if you have an early game, like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning, uh, you can drink coffee probably like an hour and a half before the game and then start drinking water. Uh, Gatorade is good for you too, but it has sugar in it. So, yeah. Um, I got cones. Uh, for, I got cones which are shown right here. Uh, I got cones for, so I can practice dribbling, that's probably going to be my next video, uh, but yeah, 
uh, cones, any equipment, like, you can get your own goal, a training goal, or an actual size goal, uh, I think the actual size goal, if you have a, if you have a Dix or a Sports Authority or Models, Sporting Goods, and buy your house, it's probably like 150 if you get a training goal, it's a tiny goal, because it's only a practice goal. So, uh, so yeah, it's not going to be the full-size goal. Uh, that's like $50 even, I think I paid for it, so yeah, um, so if you have any questions, uh, click, click the comment box under the video, type your question, I will answer all your questions after I re-sign on, cause like, trying to do school, uh, do school, soccer, Try and talk to friends, try and talk to uh, soccer professionals, uh, yeah, uh, on and off, I'm going to be busy, but I will answer, answer you back, like, maybe, it all depends if I'm online, if I'm home in front of my laptop, I check my messages, I will comment back, okay. That's it for this video, so I hope you like it. Remember, subscribe up top, then request me as a friend. So, subscribe, rate, comment. Okay, adios guys, bye.